All right, so after tons of speculation, the Part 2 Extremes The Awakenings for the 7th anniversary have officially been revealed. There are four of them, and they're going to be four. The Tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, the Fizz Omega Shenron, as well as the Tech Super Saiyan God Goku, and finally, the STR Super Saiyan God Vegeta. So basically, it's two units from the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie, and two units from Dragon Ball GT. Which shouldn't really come as a surprise to anybody, but I think most people would have to agree when I say that GT definitely won this one. I mean, we're talking about two Dokkan Fest Extreme Z Awakenings versus two non-Dokkan Fest Extreme Z Awakenings. And not only that, it's the two original category leads getting easy A's. Although, honestly, I was kind of hoping that the AGL Gogeta would get an easy A here, but I'll take Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta as a consolation prize. Actually, you know what? It's not even a consolation prize, because this guy was literally my number one choice. So I am pretty freaking happy right now. And of course, in today's video, we're going to be going over all of their easy A details. So let's pop over to the homie Goresh's page here. A big shout out and thank you to Goresh for the super quick translations as always. And uh, why don't we start here with the main man himself, the tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. So starting with his free easy A details, his leader skill was fusion category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 150% or tech types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 50%. Super attack used to be greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage. An old passive, attack plus 120%. Hold on. I am blocking the page, so there you go. Yeah, attack plus 120% extreme class enemies. Attack and defense minus 20%. Great chance of evading enemy super attack and countering with tremendous power. So this is before the EZA. Now with the Extreme Z Awakening, Leader skill is fusion category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 170%, or tech types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 100%. Super attack greatly raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage and greatly lowers defense. And new passive is attack and defense plus 150%, extreme class enemies attack and defense minus 20%, high chance for attacks to become effective against all types, a Gogeta staple, and gains an additional attack and defense plus 25% for 5 turns every time when performing a super attack max of 50% and great chance of evading enemy super attack and countering with tremendous power. So on the surface I feel like some people might not be too impressed with these details because they don't look crazy right like the buffs are big but they're not insane but guys i can guarantee you that his stats after the extreme z awakening will be crazy and he's gonna hit super super hard i mean with the 150 percent attack and then the additional up to 50 percent attack on the uh supers um yeah, he's going to be doing a lot of damage. Oh, and of course, of course, he finally has attacks effective against all types. It was kind of weird to have a Gogeta without that ability, right? So now he has the 50% chance for attacks to be effective, which is going to help him hit even harder. And uh, I think the biggest difference, honestly, is the defense. He had no defense whatsoever. You were basically relying on him to get the counter on supers. If he didn't counter the super, you were dead. Right, so now, let's say he doesn't counter the super, it's still fine, he can still tank. Uh, I'm not going to say like he's an amazing tank by any means, but he's going to be still a good tank if he doesn't counter a super attack. So, it's just a great easy A all around, I have no complaints, and I'm just super happy, man. This guy is finally going to be viable again, because he was uh, very dated, but obviously... Like I said before, he is one of the original uh, category leads, so that's to be expected. And now he's very much relevant. So 
That is the tech Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta EZA. Let's move on to the Fizz Omega Shenron. Uh, leader skill, once again, starting with the pre EZA stuff. Leader skill was Shadow Dragon Saga, Q plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 150%, or Fizz types, Q plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 50%. Super attack, immense damage, greatly lowers defense. And passive attack plus 120%. Sorry, let me just... Uh, I'm gonna disappear for the rest of the readings and then we'll come back at the end. Okay, so uh, yeah, attack plus 120%, all enemies attack and defense minus 20%, and launches an additional attack, which has a chance to become a super attack, which I believe was 10% or so, 10, 15%, around there. So not very high, basically. Now, with the Extreme Sea Awakening, new leader skill is Shadow, Sh uh, Shadow Dragon Saga, category Q plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 170% or Fizz types Q plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 100%. Super attack raises defense for one turn, causes immense damage, and greatly lowers defense. And his passive is going to be attack and defense plus 150%, just like Gogeta. All enemies attack and defense minus 20%. Gains an additional attack and defense plus 10% per attack performed, max of 70% and then launches an additional attack, which has a medium chance to become a super attack. So, once again, more attack, but more importantly, a lot more defense. A lot more defense. Now he raises defense on the super, and he's getting 150% to start, and then up to an additional 70% more defense. So he's going to be a pretty tanky unit, I, I would imagine, when fully maxed out. And uh, the additional attack now has a 30% chance to become a super attack versus, uh, like I said, about 10, 15% before. So another very good Extreme Z Awakening for the Omega Shenron. Uh, I feel like the Gogeta will outperform him, but maybe not by a ton. They're both going to be very, very impressive. And from there, let's talk about these uh, God EZAs, starting with the Super Saiyan God Goku. Um, old details, leader skill was Super Tech, K plus 3. Super Tech type, K plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 100%. Super attack, uh, supreme damage, and seal super attack. And passive, K plus 3. Attack and defense plus 100%. Randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to rainbow key spheres. Attack plus 7% in addition per rainbow key sphere obtained. And damage received, minus 77% when there is a movie boss's category enemy. Now, with the Extreme Z Awakening, leader skill becomes Super Tech Types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 130%, and then Super Attack is raises defense for one turn, and causes supreme damage, and seals enemy super attack, and then the passive is key plus 3, attack and defense plus 150%, randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to rainbow key spheres, Attack and defense plus 7% in addition per rainbow key sphere, or sorry, per key sphere obtained. Before it was just rainbow key spheres, so now he's getting attack and defense plus 7% per key sphere obtained. And then attack and defense plus 77% when collecting two or more rainbow key spheres. And then damage received minus 77% when there is a movie bosses or pure Saiyans category enemy. That's just insane. That That's just crazy because there are a lot of pure Saiyans enemies in this game, guys. There are many, many, you know, stages and events where you're fighting pure Saiyans enemies. And this guy is going to be untouchable against them. Like 77% damage reduction is just... It's a ton, right? So, I mean, you factor in the defense too. And against all movie bosses and pure Saiyans... He's basically going to never take damage. And then against other types of enemies, he's still going to be really good. I mean, he's getting 150% attack and defense. And he's also getting 7% attack and defense for every key sphere. And then he's also getting attack and defense plus 77% on top of that for two or more rainbow key spheres. Which is not going to be that hard to get since he is a rainbow key sphere changer, right? So, um, damn, he's really good. He, he is excellent. That is an excellent Extreme Z Awakening right there for the Super Saiyan God Goku. I'm really honestly just blown away by the fact that 
he's getting 77% damage reduction against pure Saiyans. I mean, that's... That's really good. Okay, so lastly, let's talk about our boy Vegeta. Uh, before the easy 8, let me just disappear once again. There we go. Uh, old leader skill is super STR types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 100%, super attack greatly raises attack and causes supreme damage, and passive is key plus 3, attack and defense plus 100%, high chance of guarding all attacks, high chance of stunning the attacked enemy when there is a movie bosses category enemy. Now with the Extreme Z Awakening, new leader skill, super STR types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 130%, super attack, greatly raises attack and causes supreme damage, and greatly lowers defense, and passive is key plus 3, attack and defense plus 150%, high chance to guard all attacks, gains an additional attack and defense plus 77% after receiving an attack for 3 turns, medium chance to perform an additional super attack, and great chance of stunning the attacked enemy when there is a movie bosses or pure Saiyans category enemy. So, Vegeta is very good as well, don't get me wrong, but I don't think he's quite as um, impressive, I guess, as the Super Saiyan God Goku, because great chance to stun movie bosses or pure saiyans is just not really as exciting as 77% damage reduction against movie bosses or pure saiyans you know so yeah vegeta's gonna be great don't get me wrong like he is a um greatly attack stacking unit who can get now multiple up to three supers now um every single turn right so he's probably gonna be hitting very hard but I'm more excited for the Super Saiyan God Goku. I mean, yeah, yeah, between the two, I think Goku is the superior unit, or at, at the very least, the um, more useful unit, the unit with more utility. Because at the end of the day, like, new events these days, um, there are more and more enemies that can't be stunned, especially in the latter stages, right? So, you know, stun is just becoming less useful, obviously. It's always going to be useful for Super Battle Road, so he's going to have great utility there. Um, but the point is, yeah, I think damage reduction, 77% damage reduction is just straight up better than great chance to stun. If it was guaranteed stun, that might be a different story, but even then, I don't think it's as good as 77% damage reduction against movie bosses or pure Saiyans. But with that said, yeah, this Vegeta is going to hit very hard, his defense will be great because he has that high chance to guard. But, um, I will say, I don't love a chance to guard, because you never know what to expect from that unit. Like, if they don't guard, and you think they're gonna guard, and you take a super, um, it could definitely screw you. Um, that could definitely be the end of your run, so... Yeah, I wish it was at least a great chance to guard, if not guaranteed guard, but maybe guaranteed guard would have been too much, it would have made him too broken. Who knows? Um, so yeah, I guess uh, it makes sense. But yeah, man, I, I'm not trying to crap on Vegeta. I think he's a great Extreme Sea Awakening. I'm, I'm just more excited for the Super Saiyan God Goku between the two. And uh, I'm definitely more excited for the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta over the Omega Shenron. And I'm more excited for both of these guys than the non Dokkan Fest guys. I, I'm just excited, man. I, I'm excited for this uh, part two to start, which is about a week ago, mm, maybe less than a week. I'm not sure the exact day, actually, but soon. Part two is starting soon. These EZAs will be dropping soon. And uh, yeah, there you go, guys. Uh, let me know in the comments down below which one you're the most excited for. Which one do you think is gonna be the best? I think most people will say Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta for obvious reasons. And uh, I do think it's going to be Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, but Omega will be very good. And the uh, the God Boys, the Vegeta and the Goku, will be, you know, great as well. So, you know, just great easy A's all around. Uh, that's going to be the video. Thank you so much to Goresh once again for the extremely quick translations. And I need to go to bed because I'm about to pass out. I don't know if you guys can tell, like I was stumbling over my words there for a bit because I my, my brain is just not working. It's uh 
it's 4 a.m. guys. It's 4 a.m. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And uh, until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.